Hello and welcome to day six of proving triangles are congruent. This is by side 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 and side angle side. So proving triangles are congruent, we can use shortcuts. So shortcuts are basically we we know usually it's three things are congruent. So we can say the whole thing is congruent. Just by knowing those three things, we can say that the whole triangle is the same. So the first triangle shortcut is side, side, side. Basically this means we know three sides are congruent to each other. So in these two triangles, that might be this side and this side then this side and this side, then this side and this side. So say we knew that was all true and we can label this. Let's label it A, B, C, and um, D, E, F. So we can say that these two triangles are congruent because their three sides are congruent to each other. So we would say triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle D, E, F oh, by side, side, side congruency. The next shortcut is side angle side congruency. So side angle side or side angle included side. This included just means between. So side angle in between the other side. So we know two congruent sides and one congruent angle but the angle has to be between the two sides has to be between the two sides so that might look something like this so we'll have our two sides like say this one and this one and our angle could be this one and or our other side could be that one and that one the angle that we have to know is congruent has to be the one in between those two. So this angle right here has to be congruent. Otherwise, it's not side angle side. Sometimes you might see it where it says side, side, and then the angle is somewhere out here. That would be side, side angle, side, side angle, which is not good because side side angle also spells angle side side which smells ass and we don't have ass in class so we don't use that it doesn't work no bueno it has to be either in between it or it doesn't work next another property to know is the reflexive property the reflexive property says sides or that should be an o or angles are congruent to themselves. So on these two triangles, we have one triangle here and another triangle here. And you can see they both share like this side right in the middle. That's BD. Well, we can say that BD is congruent to BD because it's itself. Of course, it's the same as itself. So that can count as a congruent side. Okay, let's draw some examples. Let's draw two triangles. We're gonna call this one A, C, and N, O because we know that those two are congruent. Next we'll go C, L, so this has to be L, and O, P are congruent. Just basing it off of what it's telling me. And then it says that C and O angles are congruent to each other. So these two triangles will be congruent by side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So you see that the angle is in between those two sides. So yes, the triangles are congruent. Triangle ACL is congruent to triangle NOP by side, angle, side congruency. Okay, next one. Let's draw a picture, two triangles. So this first one I'm going to do W, X, and A, B are congruent, so mark those. Next one I'm going to do X, Z, and B, C are congruent, so mark those. 
and then I have WZ and AC are congruent. So I mark those. So these triangles are congruent. Yeah, triangle. So are these triangles congruent? Yes, they are. Triangle WXZ is congruent to triangle ABC by side, side, side congruency, because we know each of their sides are congruent to each of the other sides. Next one, number three, draw your picture. I'm gonna do EG first, so E to G is congruent to PS. Then I'm gonna do EH and PT are congruent. And then I know angle E is congruent to angle P. So this is another side angle side congruency, side angle side. So these two triangles are congruent. Triangle E, G, H is congruent to triangle P, S, T by side angle side congruency. Okay, next, these are examples like you're gonna see on your homework, so it's good to know how to do these ones. So we just need to determine if the following triangles are congruent, and if so, why? We're gonna determine by side to side or side angle side. So for example, number one, we know that CB, the side, is congruent to AD, the other side, because they both have one dash mark. Then I also know that CD is congruent to BA, and that is also just because they have two dash marks, so we know that they're the same. And the last one is this side right here, BD. So we can say that BD is congruent to itself, BD, by the reflexive property. So we can mark that as congruent with little three hash marks. So now we've determined all the three of these sides of these triangles are the same as each other. So I'm going to say that triangle ABD, which is from A to B to D, is congruent to triangle from A to D to B. Or no, not A to D to B, from C to D to B. So C, D, B. So triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD by side, side, side congruency. Okay, example number two. I know F is congruent, or FE is congruent to EH, so I could write that out. It is congruent to EH. Cool. I also know that EG is congruent to itself, so I can mark that. EG is congruent to EG. But I don't have any angle and I don't have the other side. So this is not enough info for me to say that those two triangles are congruent because they don't have another angle or another side. Okay, example number three. I know AC is congruent to CE because it has the two dash marks. I also know that angle ACB, which is this angle, is congruent to angle ECD, which is this angle, because they both have a little arc. But I don't have a third thing. I need a third thing to be able to say that these two triangles are congruent, so this is not enough info for me to say that these two triangles are congruent. Okay, number four. I have TU congruent to VW, so TU is congruent to VW because they both have one tally. Then I also have UV has two and TW has two, so UV is congruent to TW because they both have the two. And I can also say that TV, this middle side, is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. So I could put three um, tally marks there. So this is another example of side, side, side congruency. So I can say triangle TUV is congruent to triangle VWT. Oh, I forgot the triangle. By side, side, side congruency. Okay, number five, let's mark down what we know. I know AC and BC are the same. So AC is congruent to BC. I also know that this angle, ang 
uh, angle ACD is congruent to angle BCD, which is this one, because they both have a little arc. And I know that CD is congruent to itself. So CD is congruent to CD. And I can mark that with the tally marks. So this is enough info. I have three things that are all congruent. So I can say that triangle ACD is congruent to triangle BCD by, in this case, we have a side, an angle, and a side with that angle right in between the two sides. So this is side, angle, side. Okay, last one. Uh, let's just go ahead and start matching these up. I know that XW and ZU are the same, so XW is congruent to ZU. I also know that WY is congruent to YZ, which is this one, because they both have one. And I know, ooh, I also know that XY is congruent to YU because they both also have one ta ta uh, dash mark. So this was kind of an easy example because all of these are congruent. So you could switch these all up into any single order, but you just need to make sure that you have one side paired up from each triangle. So these triangles are congruent. Triangle XYW is congruent to triangle U. Y, Z by side, 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 because we know all three sides are congruent to each other. And that is it for day six. So we'll see you all back for day seven. Bye.